Mm -hmm. Scared to put music up here, so I'll do the do. All right, so um, Facebook live chat. Okay. Real woman. What's your answer for negatively affected? Here we go. No! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pop up? She's like, <laughs> Wait, let me go to Facebook. Yay, we're on. Ooh, they caught me laughing. They caught y'all laughing at me dancing. Please, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. All right, we are on. Hello, everybody. I think you can hear us at this point. I'm waiting for everything to pop up. And so if you wouldn't mind, Real Women is on. Would you please share and let others know that we are here? I'm going to start sharing. We still have a good five minutes before we get started, but that gives you five good minutes to share with someone and let them know that we are about to chat Real Women style. Get them on here. Let's go. So we are chatting about how to master you and how that can affect your relationships tonight. So let's get somebody on chat. I'm going to do Come on in. Hey, Ozzy. Let's do it. Hi, Sharice. Hey, y'all. Come on on. Um, else. Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> All right. I'm putting it as many places as I can. I'm hoping that you're doing the same. If you wouldn't mind sharing with a group and let them know that we are on, we are real women. And we're going to be starting in just a couple of minutes, but we would love for you to share and let someone know that we're on. This is not a one-way conversation. You're not just gonna listen to us talk to each other. We wanna know what you have to share with us tonight. So please share this with someone and get ready to engage. All right, I think I've gotten all of my groups. I think I did my due diligence. All right, so I will go ahead and at least tell you who we are. I'll revisit some announcements and things um, in just a little bit. But my name is Trenace Richardson, and I am the founder and CEO of Real Women Incorporated. And, uh, and I have with us uh, Siobhan Carter, who is our facilitators director. And I'll let you tell, I'll let her tell you about all the wonderful things she's doing outside of Real Women and uh, within Real Women. And then Nefertiria McBride, who is also our facilitator director uh, for Real Women. And we are here tonight on our weekly 8 p.m. Facebook live chat to engage you, to give you a sneak peek of what it's like to be in a discussion with us. Um, we have sister circles every single month. In fact, every Saturday except for fifth Saturdays in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia and Hampton Roads area, you can find a Real Women Sister Circle meeting. And so we just want, we want to expose you to a little bit of kind of how we, how we get down <laughs> just a little bit so that you, we may pique your interest and you'll stop by if you are in the area or if you stop through the area uh, in any particular month. Um, and so we're going to be talking about mastering you uh, because we have an incredible um, masterclass coming up this month and we have a big, big, big surprise. Somebody put in the chat, big surprise. Just put like big surprise in the chat um, and let me know that you're here and you hear me because we are going to share something major with you um, at the end of this. So please share if you know someone who may need to 
master uh, themselves, who may need to really get to know who they are and to understand how who they are can affect their relationships. You not only want to share this with them, you want them to stay until the end. Trust me, you want them to be here. We got goodies for y'all today. All right, so yep, there's, all right, we got some folks on. Please let us know you're here. Say hello to us. Give us some thumbs up and some love and some likes. We would love to know um, that you're here with us. And don't be shy. We, we're going to engage you in some questions. And we're also going to chat with you um, and share some of your answers. So we would love to hear from you. All right, I think I did my due diligence and we got like 60 seconds, so I did good, y'all. Did I do okay? Yeah. <laughs> Getting us through the uh, intro. Yes, big surprise. We yeah. got, Ozzy, we got good stuff coming, good stuff coming, so please share. We want as many folks as possible to jump on. Hey there, Lynette. Hey, Jimmy, come on in. All right, here we go. So there's some folks who are expecting us to be late, but we're not late. We're early. We're early. We on time. <laughs> <laughs> we're not playing. We're learning the technology. That's what we're doing. Yeah. All right. So again, I am Trinace Richardson. Real Women is a membership community for women, and we create safe spaces for women to do personal development work on themselves. And we love to connect with women and to see women connect with each other in meaningful ways. We absolutely love seeing women grow their confidence in who they are and who they are created to be. And then we love of helping women become catalysts of positive change in their own lives and in the lives of others. And if you want to know any more about us, please visit us on our website at realwomenrock.org. Again, realwomenrock.org. So on this Tuesday night, hello there, Monte. Hey, Candice, come on in. Hey. Um, we want to talk about how mastering you affects relationships. And I would love for my co-host tonight to, uh, to co-facilitators of a discussion um, to introduce themselves. Um, you've heard me say this about them before because we have tag teamed uh, on here not too long ago. But this is such an important topic and there's so many ways that we can come at this uh, that we decided to revisit it um, to just give you a, a sneak peek as to what you can expect on April 13th. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but these are not only my sisters, um, they are lead facilitators who facilitate circles that I attend and um, they are um, teachers um, and, and coaches and, um, and ministers. They really pour out all that they have to other people and are so transparent about uh, their own journey so that they're not talking to you from a place, from some pedestal, um, but they're really talking to you based on, on who they are and what they've experienced. And so if you all wouldn't mind, just take a second and introduce yourselves. Hello, everybody. I'm Siobhan Carter. Um, all th I am all things real women. I love real women. And by day, I'm an audit director. By evening, I am the you re relationship coach, which means I'm passionate about all things relationships, especially the one that you have with yourself. So that's what I love. That's what I do. Um, and I, I'm really passionate about it. So. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, I am Nefertaria McBride. I also love real women. Um, yeah, it's a big part of my life. Uh, during the day, I am an audit director, just like Siobhan. Mm -hmm. um, outside of work, I am the warrior princess. Mm -hmm. I am intent on people living their best life, living the, an abundant life, and I am here to set the captives free. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes you are. Um, I, I absolutely love um, connecting with you all, not just to be silly, because we do that really well, but also because um, you're really serious about the work, the personal development work that it takes to grow and be our best selves. And so uh, we're, we're so passionate about it and so serious about it that stuff just pops off in our heads and our hearts all the time. Like, oh, we should help people do this. And oh, we should help them do that. And so, yes. so what excites me is that y'all had one of those ooh moments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are having a master class on April 13th. 
and we are calling it the U101 Masterclass. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to, as we are getting into this discussion, I'm telling y'all, we're, we're about five minutes away from having a really incredible discussion about how knowing yourself can affect your relationships. So please share and get some people on. Um, but if you have not uh, made a decision to either, if you're in this area, come to, or if you're not in this area, travel to um, our U101 Masterclass on April 13th. Could you give them a sneak peek or, or describe for them what, what they might experience there? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the people who have been to y'all sessions know exactly what that hmm is all about, but can you just break it down for people who don't? <laughs> So hard to put into words, but we really want to take you on a journey with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, we have a framework that we're going to use that would be familiar for you, um, for all of us, because, um, and it deals with relationships. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that as a backdrop and we're going to take you on a journey of a relationship with yourself. Um, and so we're going to have some activities, you know, there's going to be some fun involved. So it's not going to be all serious and, you know, we'll have some tissues too, in case, you know, your eyes are sweating, but, um, <laughs> we're going to take you on a journey, um, and just really introduce you and help you to see yourself in a way that maybe you haven't experienced before. Right. I really, um, go yeah, ahead. I really think it's, it's kind of going to be like a peeling back of the onion. Mm. Where we're about to pull back layer by layer so that we help you get to the core of who you really are. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and this is exciting to me because um, the first thing that came up for me is you just said um, we're going to help you peel back the onion, ooh, the layers of who you really are. Mm -hmm. And somebody might be like, what do you mean? who I really am. I know me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, just the idea of we live with ourselves every day. So mm -hmm. what, what do you, what is that about? Like, how, how could we be with ourselves all the time? Yeah. Um, and, and there still be this knowing that has to take place. Because, you know, we can be so surface with a lot of things, even with ourselves. Like, we go and we do things, but we're really not having that intimacy. Just mm -hmm. like how we don't have it in relationships, we don't have it with ourselves. How often do we just sit and just sit in the quiet and just be and allow things to come up? How often do we ask ourselves probing questions, the same thing that we would ask of, you know, our partner or somebody else? So we have surface level relationships, many of us mm -hmm. do. And so we wanna help people go beyond the surface to see what's underneath. And if you already are doing that work, then maybe there's a deeper level that you can go to with yourself. So right. we're gonna tap into all levels. Wherever you are, we're gonna start there and then you know, see where else you can go. And, and you know what, like I had this experience this past weekend. Um, I asked someone, if I were to take away all of your labels, mm -hmm. if I were to take away wife and mother mm -hmm. and this and this and that, then tell me who you are. Mm -hmm. And she just sat there and looked at me. And that's how a lot of us are. Like we define ourselves by what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, during the master class, we're going to tap into the being part of you, not the doing, but the being part of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you messing with me. We do okay. do so well, yes. but yes. Do, we <laughs> do we know how to be? <laughs> yes. So um, you just made me think of something and I want to ask everybody up here. We're starting now. Here we go. Here we go. So I, I want to ask you all, but I'm starting with them with this first question. I want to know from you all who are watching, how well do you think you know yourself? Like if you had, and I'm going to make it easy for you, on a gauge from one to three. So one, I really have a lot of work to do. Two, I, I've been doing some work, but there's always work to be done. Or three, I feel like I have mastered me. I know me so well. Mm -hmm. You're making it really easy for you. One, two, or three. If you could put in the chat whether you think to what level do you believe you know you or you have um, gotten accustomed to and mastered who you are and how you're made up. Um, and I think about while you all are doing that, I think about um, what you have said and the idea that we don't oftentimes take time out, right, mm -hmm. to yeah. get to know who we are. We're so busy doing, for, mm -hmm. not just just being uh, doing for ourselves and do job and all those kinds of things, but being something else to other people, right? Yeah. And and so that thing you tapped into, oh my gosh, if you're not 
if you don't describe yourself as a mom, if you don't describe yourself as a sister, if you don't describe yourself as a minister of a church or a, a teacher to kids, not in relationship to other people, who are you? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really something that that we should talk about. I think that's great. We got a lot of twos in here. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Talia. I know. I know that's right, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that's right, V. I am me first. Very okay. The gauge three definitely doing the work, right? Mm -hmm. And so, if you're at a three, there's no level of arriving. It mm -hmm. means that you're doing some serious work, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you recognize that. Ooh, I didn't like that about me, or ooh, I, let me work on that, or ooh, I need to embrace and love on me a little bit more. You're just constantly doing mm -hmm. um, some work, and so that's what we we want to get to the place where as much attention as we give outwardly to other people that we would give ourselves. Mm -hmm. So y'all keep those numbers coming. The question on the floor, I see a lot of twos mm -hmm. overall, but some days one when my buttons get pushed, Netta, that's mm -hmm. honest, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you, some of us just go into a shell even from ourselves and decide, mm -mm, nope, not, not doing the B today. <laughs> I'm not being today. Right, right, I'm just right. going to ignore all of this and veg out. I mm -hmm. totally get it. So I, you all can continue doing that, but I want to, um, to ask a few questions of you all in the, uh, in the chat, as well as uh, you and Siobhan and Neff. Um, once we're on this journey, to get to know ourselves mm -hmm. and we're working on ourselves and nobody put one so so far anyway there go Deborah uh, well, <laughs> 1.88 <laughs> so funny so for the sometime ones in the group me and um and Netta and 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 Deb for for those of us who are who recognize the need to do the work mm -hmm expectation of what might happen as we're moving into this work what is happening or changing as a result because i've i've gathered from some people that they feel like they just need to be somebody else you know like i need to i need to evolve into some brand new person so are we changing into a new person or do we simply become more of who we are what are we doing as we get to know ourselves um, for me, what's happening is I'm, I'm just coming into more of who I am. Um, and it's just creating such a peace within me. Um, I've talked about it before. There used to be so much chaos, so much judgment, so much criticism, and just so much, uh, even self-loathing, self-hatred, like all of that used to take place within me. So to, to be in a space where I'm just, um, enjoying myself not to say that I don't have moments when I'm sad or when I'm down or when I'm you know in conflict with myself but it's less of those moments than I had before um, so there's such much more of a peace and just um, an acceptance mm -hmm. um, that I have with me and just a flow you know like mm -hmm. I just feel like there is such so much integration and just um, awareness and acceptance and love. So it's, it's still me. I'm still who I am, but it's just, I'm, I'm understanding who I am now. I think I operated with just, I didn't have a level, a level of understanding who I was. So I was operating as someone else because I wasn't being true to who I really was. So being on this journey, I'm discovering who I really am, how I was wired, how, how I was created to be. And I'm just operating as that. Before you share, Neff, I want to jump on something. Yeah, because that, that was good, won't it? Before you share, I want to jump on something you said, Siobhan, because when it comes to, to this notion of getting to know ourselves, what I just said may be true for some people that they to turn, I wish I was more like her, or I wish I was more like him, and I'm changing into somebody else. But what you said was so profound because the reality of it is, we are doing and being someone else until we really tap into who we are, yeah. right? So, so I, and I'll use myself as an example. I literally was living the, the, the life that my church gave me or, or pour, poured into me, the life that my parents gave me and poured into me, mm -hmm. um, that I was living the life of the expectations of those that were placed upon me. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't until I really began to delve into who I am that I began to say, you know what, what do 
I like? Like, what, what do I like to do? Like, how do I like to dress? Like, how do I want my hair? You know, mm-hmm. the, and those are surface things, but it's indicative of every level of who we are that until we start asking those questions of ourselves, mm-hmm. void of, of the, the voices mm-hmm. of who, you know, whomever has been influencing us. And, you know, that, that influence never goes away, but I think the level of awareness yeah. of that influence is so big that it can bring about that peace that what we are really doing is evolving into who we really are and more of us. So mm-hmm. at the end of it, you're being more of you and less of, of the expectations of everybody else. I love how you just frame that. Go ahead, Neff. I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say after all of that. <laughs> um, I, I think for me, it's 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 both um, that I I am really settling into who I really am mm. and becoming more comfortable with that, um, and at the same time, it's transforming me from mm. the inside out. Mm-hmm. So it's it's been both. Like I'm really in this space where. Oh, I like her. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm in love with me for the first time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Accepting of me. I think about how I see my kids, how like, I just love them so unconditionally. Mm-hmm. Like they can, they can do something wrong, but I still love them yeah. and yeah. still see the best of them. I see me that way now. Yeah. Yeah. Like I see me that way through these eyes of unconditional love that I have never done before. I'm, I'm no longer tearing myself apart um, and criticizing myself. Like I'm just so in love right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and because I have moved to this place of self-acceptance and love, it's just radiating yes. and it's showing, it, it, it just, it changes how I show up in the room. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. yes. that was good too, <laughs> Nair. That was good, too, girl. Yes. That was good. Yes. So look, I, I, I got some, I wanna make sure we, we having this conversation with them because they, they are loving this conversation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So um, V said, I'm feeling that enjoying myself piece too, child. She's yeah. loving that. Yeah. And then Jessica said, I'm finding others are acknowledging I'm changing. Ooh, we about to get to the other girl. Yeah. Um, they tend to expect a different reaction from me, not allowing my buttons to be pushed as often now that I'm on my journey. That's good. Mm-hmm. Jessica, you all in our dipping sauce. That's good though. Um, <laughs> we about to go right there. Hey, Ariel. And then um, enjoy my peace really surfaced during the government shutdown, Jessica. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. It opened up an opportunity for me to explore me blessing in disguise. Mm-hmm. And isn't that how it is? Yeah. Um, that it ends up being a blessing in disguise when we see stuff mm-hmm. like that happen in our lives. Um, mm-hmm. And then so now I get to ask myself, what do I like? What do I want? Absolutely. So y'all mm-hmm. are feeling this conversation. Yeah. Um, I know, Deborah, we always end up crying. <laughs> Somewhere nearby all um, and V is feeling us too. Yes. I want to make sure I point out what you just said because the idea of falling in love with yourself, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. And, and that, that level of evolving or changing is for me, the big word is acceptance. Yeah. Because I think, that, and you, you said that word, I think what happens is we are our own worst critics. Yeah. And we, know how, we know how to beat ourselves up internally yeah. and mm-hmm. externally. Um, the, the language that we use for ourselves, we would almost never use that type of language to somebody right. else, you right. know? And yeah. so um, I, I just, I love the fact that um, Real Women is about us getting to know ourselves and accepting who we are. And it doesn't mean that we, because I don't even believe that we can evolve into better versions or, or uh, of who we're supposed to be, mm-hmm. good, bad, and, and indifferent, and all of those things until we know ourselves. Yeah. So the getting to know ourselves leads to an acceptance of who we are. And I believe that leads to us being gracious toward ourselves yeah. and, and our best selves shine bright as a result. And yeah. you do, you glow. I see the glow in, in so many of us who are doing the work. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna warn y'all, um, there are, we always need tissues. People say, people say we too deep. And I think we are the most fun loving crew ever. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, 
but they say we get really deep with it. And the reason why is because we are really willing to dig, really willing to dig. So if you want to dig, you need to come April, April 13th. Um, on that Saturday, we're really gonna help you do some digging. All right, so let's dig in this last half to into how knowing ourselves, y'all have helped us really understand what that looks like and what that can, and can, can cause inside of us. Um, but once we start doing that, things around us, as Jessica says, start changing a little bit. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so I want people in the chat, if you now, your job in the chat is to answer this question for me as I'm asking it of Neff and Siobhan, that as we evolve and get to know ourselves, how can our relationships, and you can go down your list, family relationships, romantic relationships, children, whatever you wanna go with it, work relationships, how can they be positively affected? I wanna start there. How, how can those relationships be positively affected as we get to know ourselves? I want to see what y'all got in the chat, but go for it, y'all. Woo, let me tell you why I'm so excited about this part. Because I was just talking about this in my therapy session, and mm -hmm. I am overjoyed at seeing this happen in my life. Mm -hmm. So no matter what relationship you are in, what I'm experiencing is the relaxing of the pressure mm -hmm. of the expectations of other people when i love who i am i don't need so much from you i really don't need much of anything because i'm it's like self-sufficient i'm good mm -hmm. over here like you can have okay. you can bring 10 percent. that's fine but i'm okay mm -hmm. so i can give to you i can love from an overflow yeah. so i can accept you just like i'm accepting me so be who you are i don't need you to be somebody else or meet, meet this list or match this or whatever i just need you to be you does my me match with your you and if it doesn't that's cool but I, I just that's the main thing i used to expect so much from people do this for me and be this for me and play the victim and all this but you know just to have it within myself or to realize that it's all within me i'm okay mm. i'm okay and yeah. you're okay like and and that's what the big revelation has been for me to release people from need from the expectations that i put on them Mm, mm, mm. that's that's it that's it mm. <laughs> and like i'm building relationship with someone so on the way home today i asked him the question um how has me um getting to know myself better affected you and i yeah. and he said I feel like it has taken so much pressure off of me. Mm. Like you're not expecting me to be a certain way. You're not trying to change me. You just accept me how I am. Mm -hmm. So the more that I'm okay with me, yeah. the more that I create space and room for him to be exactly who he is, yeah. the more that I am okay with me, the more that I am able to create space for my kids to be exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to fit the girls into a certain box. You have to have this type of career. You have to do this. Yeah. No, like mm -hmm. you are who you are yeah. and yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is so good. This is so good. And in the chat, they are agreeing mm -hmm. because the peace, I just got to say that word, <laughs> mm -hmm. the peace that you gain in your relationships, yeah. getting to know who you are better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The, the level, everything y'all have said, the level of expectation comes yeah. down. You, you don't um, expect someone to be who you're supposed to be to yourself. Yes. Oh, right. Oh right. That's it. That's like, it. I'm expecting you to be my peace. I'm expecting yes. you to be my joy. Yes. I'm expecting you to love me when I don't love me fully. You know, all of those things. Like, to me. All of our emotional to... needs. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting. Yeah. Say it again, Siobhan. I hear it. It's exhausting. Yes. It's exhausting. Yeah. To, to give out that much energy and put that on somebody and it's exhausting for the person that you're putting it on. Like that's too much. Yes. They don't have capacity. Right. They don't. Yes. And I've been there. I've been there in 
um, sister relationships. I've been there in um, romantic relationships. I thank God for my husband who takes the pressure off and he's just so comfortable in his own skin. He's like, do you? you know, <laughs> he is. He's like, do you? Because I'm going to do me. Um, it's just, but, but I know it can happen in any type of relationship. Yeah. Let me just, before we get to this negative, um, let's see what they wrote. They're really agreeing. V says, it makes you stand up for yourself mm -hmm. and you won't allow anyone to abuse you, mistreat you and disrespect you that's a now that's a really good point to make that as you get to know you you decide wait a minute I, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm worth a little bit more than what what's happening in this in this mm -hmm. yeah um, y'all agree with that that yeah. you begin to value yeah. you, you know what because you become familiar with what it feels like to be loved Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it, it becomes familiar territory. But right. for me, it used to be foreign. I didn't know. So I was looking for it outside of myself. But now it's familiar. So what you're not going to do is treat me worse than I, I treat, treat myself. myself. So <laughs> I know how to treat me. We good okay. So mm -hmm. you're going to bring this level of treatment. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're not going well, to work. Talk about. That's, mm -hmm. No, that's not going to work for me because I know what this feels like. So, yeah. you know, I raised the bar for myself, yeah. you know, so yeah. 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 And, and, and Neff, I know you've given your testimonies of different things in, in different ways, but I have seen that evolution for all of us. I'm just sharing about yours, just the, the evolution of value, self value. That's like, you know what <laughs> was not going to happen. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Just, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. And, mm -hmm. and being okay with, it. Yes. Like being okay with it. That has transitioned for me. Like, no, that's, I feel like that's just not honoring me. So I'm just not doing yeah. that. So, yeah. and being okay with you being upset with me. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think, you know, <laughs> that V made such a good point and it is a positive for us. It can be seen as a negative for some, or maybe somebody on the other side, because, you know, it, it may create some distance. It may create some separate separation of ties. Um, and so I want to delve into that um, as far as what are some other things that could, um, as it relates to us getting to know ourselves, that could negatively affect our relationships. But they are on fire in the chat right now. Jessica <laughs> um, <laughs> said, I was so much... Uh, I was so much to so many. Now I'm pouring into myself. That is a praise God. Um, Netta said, the more I accept me, I can accept others. Freedom is a beautiful thing. Say it again, Denise. Freedom yeah. is a beautiful thing. And Sharice can attest to it. Um, and Ariel says, as an adult child, my relationship with my parents has been shifted mm -hmm. through maturity and having more space for understanding for one another and so on. I'm a witness, Ariel. I, I am a witness. I've learned to be an adult with my mother and not just her child. I'm still her child. I'm still her baby, but I'm able to, to kind of shift the dynamics and we're able to have adult conversations. I'm able to say, no, this is what I like. No, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, V, yes, that's exactly what happened to me. Yes, get on my street. Mm -hmm, we on your street, y'all. Okay, <laughs> this is really good stuff. Ariel, I'll, I'll raise this last one. Ariel says, and in my love life that I don't have right now, bless your heart, I find that I'm not looking for anything that I was looking for before. I know what I want and what I bring to the table with me when it comes to value. I choose to date myself right now because I can. Yes, child. <laughs> I love it. So what would you all say in the chat as well as I'm asking you all as we're coming to our last couple of questions um, how can our relationships be negatively affected um, as we are moving into the mastering ourselves space hmm that's a tough one um, because it can be negative for the other person maybe if they can't do what they used to do with you mm -hmm. um, maybe you used to be a yes person and now you're honoring yourself and learning how to say no Mm -hmm. So you may get resistance from that other person. You may get the guilt trip or, sh you know, the blame and shame and you should be doing this. So I think that could, that could come across, but it's hard to, for me to see it as a negative though, because it's like, okay, now I'm understanding the dynamics of my relationships are shifting. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's the piece. And another thing um, that I'm noticing is, and I don't know if this impacts the relationships or not, but 
it, it's causing me to release the story that I had for so long of being a victim. Like when, when I'm loving on me and, and seeing and accepting responsibility, then I'm not a victim. So then I can't blame, you know, the other person. So that means I'm growing up, I'm standing up and being mature in who I am. So there's some discomfort that comes with that because, you know, the, the, the story was like my little blanket. So mm -hmm. I held it for a long time. So it's like releasing that can, can have some discomfort. Um, and if, you know, it's attached to another person and they're not to blame anymore. So you got to look at yourself, you know, so that kind of stuff is what I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can I add before you speak, Neff, that what you made me think about, and it's all in how you view it, right? As you said, perspective mm -hmm. is everything, mm -hmm. but um, having hard conversations yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. is more necessary yeah. um, the more you get to know yourself. The necessity of having the conversation, whatever the conversation is, like mm -hmm. about, you know, what we can't do anymore, what I, what I won't do anymore, what how you know how, how even I'll be honest with you as I've gotten to know me here's a big one mm -hmm. and this is not necessarily a negative but it does put us as you said in an uncomfortable space where we have to deal with some feelings and some vulnerability mm -hmm. that we haven't previously dealt with um, but I have noticed that my humility factor is on 10 now that I know myself better. And it's because I will sit my own tail down yes. like before somebody else had to sit me down. But I, let's just say, I, you know, whether it's my child or my husband or even a sister, um, I might say something really flippantly, really quickly with an attitude, really w rude. And before I would justify in my head why that was a necessity, why I needed, they needed to hear it just like I gave it to them. <laughs> and you know all of that but now I, you know you know that wasn't your best you could have done that you know showing up. Yeah. that was another one that was the other part of you talking that should have been yeah. sitting down right then yeah. and and it forces me to have to go to that person and say I'm sorry or or let's way or I should have communicated differently that's hard that's some hard stuff but it's necessary yeah um, that's what I wanted to add to it mm -hmm. yeah you got thoughts Neff any you good? I would just say I don't I don't know that it's necessarily negative for me but it's certainly um I make people uncomfortable mm. <laughs> yeah mm. I make people uncomfortable because some things have shifted and I'm no longer just people pleasing and, and I don't need you for validation. So now I'm making you uncomfortable because I'm really standing in the truth of who I am and owning my own stuff. Yeah. Um, so one, I think I make people uncomfortable mm -hmm. um, because yeah, the guilt, that's not going to work for me anymore mm -hmm. because I know when you do that, you're tapping into sister mercy and I know better how to, how to manage her now mm -hmm. and I know how to pull sister mercy back so you're not about to play me like that anymore so it yeah so the dynamics of a lot of relationships have shifted mm -hmm. I, and they don't know what to do with me <laughs> and I, I'm a witness yes <laughs> and and smooth with it smooth with yeah. it and unapologetic so <laughs> <laughs> And and you you feel you you get in check and you don't even know you get in <laughs> check. You you all you in check land and you like how did I get here? Because <laughs> Neff ushered you right into check. <laughs> um, but but you made me think about one more thing. Um, and the other thing was, and I'm just gonna be real with it. I have my my relationships have shifted to the point where. I have fewer of them, but quality is more yeah. important to me than quantity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need a lot of people. I don't need a. I don't need to have the conversation with a whole lot of people. I don't need to tell everybody what's happening with me and what's going on with me. And so it may appear to some people, and I I do my best to be as friendly and sisterly as possible to as many people as possible but i'm not calling everybody on the phone i'm not calling most people on the phone like i'm not i'm not going in depth about my life to a whole bunch of people and so there's this 
funnel, if you will, of the level of relationship, the depth of relationship, it's yeah. fewer and fewer as I, you know, as we go deeper and deeper. Yeah. And, and that's, that's needed for me. Mm -hmm. It may feel, you know, a bit exclusive or something to somebody else, but, but I'm honoring me and what I need instead mm -hmm. of what somebody else expects of me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. 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 So we got some really good stuff in the chat, y'all. I have, um, I, I love takeaways. So I want you to start thinking about Neff and Siobhan, what we can do to nurture the relationships that we choose to be in because all relationships take work. So we're not saying just, you know, if you don't get along with somebody or if they don't accept you, just give it, you know, just flippantly give away and throw away relationships. But those that you choose to be in because they're worth the work um, how do we nurture those relationships as we're getting to know ourselves um, that's our takeaway question um, but I do want to check in here because y'all kept it co coming y'all are enjoying this um, and Deborah said <laughs> what I ain't putting up with anymore okay <laughs> Um, they become threatened by who you um, who you are when you are free being who you are. Absolutely. Um, and I, no, I don't expect you to be my everything. I expect you to treat me right because I don't wait until you change or do better. Now I understand um, what work is is for me. Those, those are good things. Being able to say no, mm -hmm. absolutely. A lot comes by experience and growth. So true, Terry. Mm -hmm. um, really true. So yeah, that they shall learn tonight yes they shall <laughs> De uh, deborah is uh calling out sister mercy giving sister mercy yes. a shout out mm -hmm. um and so thank y'all so much for keeping the chat going really really appreciate this jessica said that um changed that in 2017 and continues um to share in relationships and ariel's learning how to say no and stand on her no and how to be transparent and learning to feel again, even internally. Yeah. That is so yeah. good. Um, oh my gosh, how to come with remembering things of my past that were different, difficult, learning how not to press things without feelings and acknowledging who I am and what's happening with me. Accepting that I'm strong has been uncomfortable and understanding that I like where I am has created rifts, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It really is okay. Because at the end of the day, those who are supposed to be in our lives will be. Mm -hmm. um, we will, we, as we get to know ourselves, we'll continue opening ourselves up to the right folks mm -hmm. and the right people will accept us for who we are. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would like to close with that question. And if you all in the chat have any suggestions, um, what can we do? What would you suggest we do to nurture our relationships as we're learning ourselves? You know, we have these loved ones around us. Mm -hmm. um, what, what should we be doing? I would say practice acceptance and understanding. I know for me, when I'm in critical judgment mode of other people, then I'm not giving myself permission to really see who they are as an individual. Mm -hmm. So, you know, who, who are they? Why do they do what they right. do? Um, what, what's their story, you know? Um, and just really just meet them where they are. Let them be who they are. Not try to control them or make them be anybody else, but just learning how to appreciate who they are, what they come with. Um, and just allowing them to be on their journey as it is, you know, I think mm -hmm. for me, that's the biggest thing, just acceptance and understanding. That's good that's stuff. Good. That's um, good. I, I would echo that. Um, one of the things that we talked about is because we have been doing this work and really identifying our pieces and getting to know um, each of the pieces and the characteristics and what are their emotional needs or whatever. When I look at other people now, especially my loved ones, mm -hmm. I'm able to see when they show up differently. Mm -hmm. So it helps me to be more patient. Mm -hmm. um, it, it increases my understanding of them. Like mm -hmm. I show up differently in different situations. So knowing that about myself, mm -hmm. I'm better able to accept and make room for my family members or coworkers or whatever who show up differently at different times so I'm starting to see people in their different pieces yeah, yeah. um yeah and is my lens um for looking at everybody else has has just changed yeah. it's more understanding more patient more compassionate yeah. and just me really figuring like tilting my head to the side like hmm <laughs> <laughs> like what's 
what's going on with that today? What's, yeah, yeah. yeah. what is that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. So mm-hmm. I hear you all saying this compassion and this um, empathy even, mm-hmm. this really mm-hmm. helping understand, it helps you to understand where other people are. Yeah. And I would, I would add to that takeaway that we would continue, this is my word, I mean, it's, it's real women's word, vulnerability. I think yeah. it really, as we get to know ourselves, mm-hmm. it's, it, it becomes a, qua- a, a deeper, more uh, quality-based relationship when we are willing to be vulnerable. Yes. So it, it's not for us to just get to know ourselves and keep it to ourselves, right? <laughs> so we're really supposed to get to know ourselves and share ourselves um, with especially those, our loved ones, ones, right? Sometimes I have been guilty of this, that I give more of myself to those that I'm serving outside of my home or outside of my family than I give to my family. And people outside get to see my heart and know more about me and I'm sharing more. And that is not the case anymore. The people who are going to know me are yeah. really so important. It's risky, yeah. but it's worth the risk um, with those who love you. And I want to make sure we honor the time and we always want to stay under the hour, um, closer to the half an hour. And so we have a surprise. We have a surprise. We have a surprise. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> and so um, thank you all. You all have given some of your takeaways too. Just keep it real. Stay true to yourself at all costs. Accepting people where they are is profound. It relieves us of so many roles and responsibility. Mm-hmm. And you used a word that's very similar to mine, Jessica, you used authenticity. Um, Authenticity is key and personal growth is necessary. Ariel says, I realize I see me in others. So it helps me give understanding. That's good. So Deborah, you already (laughs) won. The victory is already yours, Deborah. Stay out of it. (laughs) Girl, it's crazy. Okay. So this is what we want to do. Our All Access members, shout out to all the All Access members. Um, They are the women who have invested their their resources monthly or annually to be a part of our community in a real deep and meaningful way. We just monthly, but throughout the week uh, of every month of every year. And uh, they get to come to the U101 Masterclass free of charge. They just get to let us know they're coming and show up, right? Mm -hmm. For the general public, there is a fee and you can go to um, the Eventbrite site. And if you could say it for me, Siobhan or Neff, and that way someone can put it in the chat. Yeah, it's rwu 101 dot eventbrite.com one more time r w y o u 101 dot eventbrite.com all right so if one of the real women could put that in the chat for us please 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 and then um if you go to there you'll see there's a fee connected to you attending Mm -hmm. Um, but we have some gracious women in our real women community who decided to give some tickets away hello somebody so no matter where you live this can apply to you because have car will travel have bus will travel have Uber, Lyft, whatever, we'll travel. You yes. can make your way here um, to, to this U10 Masterclass. Gift yourself the opportunity to, to pour into you, right? You, you'll you travel for, for soccer games and, and basketball games and church conferences and, and work conferences and all those things. Do some personal development work for, for yourself on April 13th. We have two, right, ladies? Yeah. Today, we have two. If anybody else wants to give some away, we'll give those away too. But for now, we have two that have been gifted, and we want to give those away. So tell them how they can do it, Siobhan. All right. So the first two people to comment in the chat right now, you comment, say, I'm coming to the masterclass. The first two people to comment will get those tickets. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I was to go in. <laughs> All you have to do is say, I'm coming to the master class, and you are the winner. Yes. And yeah. Jessica, you had it right the first time. So it's not the at sign, it's the it's the dot. So uh, rwu101.eventbrite.com. Oh, Deborah, stop it. Yeah, not you. <laughs> not you, Deborah. Right, <laughs> And listen, V is not local, y'all, but she's going to make her way. I'm so excited. Oh, and Netta, Netta, I'm to all access. I, I think you all access. One more person can put it in the chat. I think Netta, come you anyway, Netta. Netta. <laughs> Netta can come anyway. Okay, so um, y'all keep it coming. Yeah, put them in there. Go ahead, Ariel. Put yeah, there. We got it. Um, yes, we're going to make sure we get to the two, and we will, they're going to ask, the, they coming. It's a whole bunch of people coming. So, <laughs> We got our people coming who are going to be coming anyway. But we're going we're gonna to make this work. We're going to reach out to y'all um, directly. We'll inbox you um, just to confirm and then sh shoot you the registration information. This has been so incredible. Thank you, Siobhan and Neff. Um, what I want to do is make sure we go back to where we started at the beginning as we're closing out to invite you to visit realwomenrock.org realwomenrock.org. We are a uh, membership community um, and we create safe spaces for women to do personal development work on themselves. And we would love for you um, to uh, venture out to our physical spaces. We have one every Saturday, except for Fifth Saturdays. We have a young adult real women community um, mm -hmm. on Sundays um, that meets every fourth Sunday. And we would absolutely love for you to experience uh, one of these communities. All of the information is on our website. And we also have a membership community. The All Access membership community gives you tons more benefits and we'd love for you to look for that on the website as well any closing thoughts y'all have <laughs> she called out a boxy yeah, we, yeah. we don't want to give no more no more secrets away about this class just come we got some really amazing things in store for you and we know that you will leave enlightened yes mm -hmm. we we have been laboring behind the scenes mm -hmm. um and pouring our hearts into the content um mm -hmm because we really want you to know yourself and love yourself and, and just move into self-acceptance. So we are ready for y'all. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. Cannot wait. So the two people will be, not only will they be inboxed, but we'll make sure you all know who the two people are so you won't be looking for, for, your, for your inbox message. Right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We will be right back here next Tuesday at 8 p.m. with another live chat. Um, and we're going to keep it real. Thank you all so much for being with us. Take care. Right. Yeah. Nice. Good night.